too nice to be staying in today. Let's take it outside. So today decided to bring this one outside uh, to a local uh, walkway near me. Um, interesting, you can find spirit absolutely everywhere. So it's way colder than I had anticipated, a little bit blurry. I've got a, a baseball cap in the bag. Try and control my hair a little bit while I'm out here. Um, but this is really, really local, this one. A nice little walk, I haven't done it yet. Uh, but today we're gonna to be talking about um, diet. You know, what's good and what's bad for mediumship. I get asked an awful lot of questions about it. And so today, we're gonna to cover that. So does it matter what I eat and drink to better my mediumship? Let's talk about it. Let's see what, uh, what the concerns are. A lot of you inbox me about alcohol, uh, smoking, um, and dietary needs. So let's go over it. So, random cows in a in a random field somewhere in the in the Lee Valley, and it is. I've already said it once, but it is freezing now, and it definitely looks like. Look behind me, it's definitely going to rain. Wish I brought gloves or something. Now it is freezing. The wind chill is so so cold. So talking about diet and what it is. Those of you that know me, um, it's quite. You're probably laughing at this video uh, because you all know that I have um, or had a, a huge appetite for Red Bull. Um, cigarettes, Coca-Cola, uh, chocolate, sweets, that kind of stuff. Uh, and there's a perfectly uh, good explanation why mediums do that. Also, as a quick disclaimer, I haven't backed this up with any kind of nutritional value. I'm not a doctor, so don't take on board everything that I'm saying that it's clinically correct or medically uh, correct. Uh, this is just through my experience, um, and that's why I'm sharing it, uh, because you lot ask me all the time. So firstly, we need to understand what type of medium you are. You know, I'm a kind of medium that I cannot eat a, a, a meal or any kind of food sort of an hour and a half to two hours before a dem. Um, and the same with during the dem and then after the dem. Um, and, and what I find is that the, the energy that my body needs to uh, use in digesting that meal means that all my focus, my brain is sending all the work to the, the belly, the stomach, to start digesting maybe a meat or uh, whatever, whatever it is, but it's in digestion. So I've worked out uh, over many years of uh, practicing and trying um, that an hour and a half to two hours is a perfect window for me. If I'm gonna eat, it'll do its job. Uh, I can then work and then afterwards, an hour and a half, two hours afterwards, I can then go back to eating whatever that is. The downside is, is that I finish at nine o'clock and so I'll probably start getting hungry about 11 o'clock and that's a whole different uh, problem. Uh, going to bed with a full belly. Um, but we'll discuss that in another video. You'll also find that if uh, I'm being very undisciplined, uh, you can go to my car door and you will find empty cans and uh, sweet wrappers and that kind of stuff. And that's just because I need a quick energy fix and things like Red Bull and Coca-Cola uh, and Mars bars and all the stuff that's terribly bad for you uh, does that instant energy rush, gives you that sugar hit. 
that my body is screaming for. And so you tend to find like mediums have this uh, like addictive way to them. It, it can be in sugar, we, we tend to find it in uh, uh, smoking cigarettes, maybe drug taking, uh, medical or recreational, uh, sex, that kind of thing. Um, mediums will, will kind of really go for it they're, and they're, they're almost trying to replace the high that they have just had on a platform or just had from Circle. It's, that, it's a feeling that it's that fulfillment that they're trying to get and things like sex, drugs, uh, sugars, um, kind of get close to it. It's never the same but it's kind of get close to it um, and so this is uh, why we're discussing this video. We also need to look at the, the medical um, background with, uh, with mediumship. You know, maybe, maybe you've had, uh, and I certainly had a, a terribly bad back, um, and, and it goes every now and again, but managing it slightly better. Um, but we, we may have to take strong, strong um, medication for that. Uh, and a lot of people that are maybe a year or two into their development, you know, very, very early on. Um, and then they have a terrible injury, maybe they break a leg or they slip a disc or, or something along them lines. The first question they ask me is like, I feel so spaced out. I feel, I feel like my mind's all over the place. Now I'm taking this new tablet. Um, what, what do I do about that? Is it going to affect my mediumship? And I think for the first few days, let's say, for an example, you have to take these tablets for the next three months. I think for the first, let me adjust that. I think for the first, I don't know, a couple of weeks maybe. Um, absolutely it'll affect you because you don't know what you're doing. But it, it don't mean you have to stop. It don't mean we have to give up for a little while. It just means that the spirit world have a new mixing bowl to work with. Um, and we have, to, we have to find time and patience to make that work because the spirit world will be doing everything they can. They've just got a new ingredient within the instrument, you, the body, uh, to, to work out how we're going to get this through, etc. Man, I'm so out of breath, so I'm fit. So, I don't know, I'm a couple of miles into a walk. I'm a little bit lost at the minute in the Lee Valley. Um, but, but just keep following these, uh, these wires. I know they'll lead back to my car somewhere down there. <laughs> Anyway, so you can, uh, the spirit world will um, work with a new mixing bowl. They, uh, they will be trying all the time. They'll make what adjustments is needed. And if it's a three month plan that, that we have on, on said tablet, um, your mediumship will be affected, but for a very short space of time, you'll learn the best times to take them to stop your pain if you find yourself in pain or maybe it's a heart tablet or something like that that you're taking but overall it's a very short space of time just keep plugging away and keep working with it uh, and the adjustments will come into play now that works the same with alcohol um, I'm a medium that don't believe that alcohol should be used uh, while doing mediumship just my own personal opinion um, and other people will have a difference of opinion and that's absolutely fine. Um, and we've only got to look at like someone like Helen Duncan, you know, when she was doing her physical mediumship and oh, he was going fast. <laughs> he was really going fast. Um, Helen Duncan and um, they, they said you could smell the alcohol on the ectoplasm after, after a seance. It was just something that she she got into. She had a very difficult um, journey through mediumship and one where she obviously had to resort into using alcohol, maybe believed that it helped in some way. And so, um, so the spirit world just adjusted the, the chemistry, I suppose. 
um, for, for, the, for the phenomena to still take place. Alcohol was just another ingredient in the bowl that they had to work with. Um, it's not their choice, they can't make her stop, they won't make her stop. Um, but it was another ingredient and then the spirit world used to, or, or learned to use it. Now the same kind of goes for uh, drug use. You know, you've got, uh, it's so free now, isn't it? Uh, cocaine, uh, marijuana, cannabis, um, heroin, that sort of stuff. Um, and in my opinion, none of these bring uh, clarity uh, to mediumship. Um, so my advice is not to sort of dabble in them, um, being, the, being the role that I lead and um, trying to guide people. Um, but there will be people um, that I'm certain has tried uh, drugs, recreational drugs, and said that it's made a, uh, an impact or made it better or made it worse. Just in my own opinion, through uh, my own experiences, uh, the best mind I have is one where no alcohol and no drugs are present. So I think it goes without saying, you know, like I'm the world's worst if I ain't had enough sleep, I'm an absolute nightmare. And, you know, if you're not eating properly and your energy is not right, you know, they're gonna, they're, of course they're gonna have an effect. But nothing where it won't work, you know. Oh, bloody hell, I'm getting cramp. <laughs> um, not enough salt in your diet, Charlie. Um, so I think, you know, if you're gonna work out and that kind of stuff, um, of course it's gonna help you, of course it is. Um, these things, you know, th this is self-explanatory. If you're gonna keep the instrument nice and fit and working well, uh, and you're giving it all the right ingredients, of course it's gonna perform at its best and it will give you a clarity of mind. Does it really matter early on when you're first trying to learn? No, but any kind of athlete or sportsman, they don't really focus on that stuff. They don't really dial it in until they're at that like Olympic level, you know, when they're doing it for their, for their well-being. I think, let's walk, I think, I think what we need to kind of remember is that like I've just knocked Red Bull on the head because I know I'm, I'm 40 now, but I know like drinking Red Bull like two, three cans a day just to sustain my workload is eventually going to take its toll. Um, and so I thought, you know, rather than be told to stop, then stop yourself. And, you know, next it will be cigarettes maybe. Right now, it's just not, it's not right for me. And so, I still drink Coca-Cola. I love Coca-Cola, I love coffee, I love cigarettes. Uh, and there's different times and different days and different applications that we, we put these dietary things to. Do they affect my mediumship? No more than anything else, you know, like if I'm having a bad day and I'm emotionally uh, damaged in some way, um, that's going to have more of an effect because my mind's not in it or I haven't really fully focused myself. These are all things that over time you learn to adjust and you, 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 you key it in, you dial it in and, and you learn how to uh, get away from that kind of thing. So drink, drugs, all that kind of stuff. My advice would be don't, don't do it. Um, but. Will it make you a better medium? I don't think it will. It's all about the consistency, learning who you are, what your mind is about, how your mind operates and works. Uh, and, and from that, I don't think there's anything that can enhance that. The only thing that can better your mediumship and dialing it in and becoming more evidential is spending your time wisely with your spirit team in a disciplined manner. I don't think it would help if you were there for sort of 18 hours at a the woken day uh, sitting in your power or your or your zone I don't think this is healthy either so I think when people try and promote a new way of living or a new lifestyle 
I think the spirit world works best when you when you adapt to it. You adapt it into your everyday, and uh, you you see the magic. You 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 blend that magic almost in in with the the everyday that you're doing now. I am definitely getting old. <laughs> so I think it's all about balance and lots and lots of people talk about balance don't they let me adjust that uh, talk about balance and it's about it is about balance really not too much not too little just the right amount it actually all falls down to the relationship that you're building with the spirit world if that one involves you drinking then the spirit world will work with it if that involves you drinking loads of red bull and smoking loads of cigarettes every day the spirit world will work with it uh, and I think I think we, we, we're looking for excuses. We're looking like I weren't really on form today or I weren't really producing. That's because I didn't have my Red Bull or I ate a little bit too late or I didn't eat enough or it was too sugary. I think just cut to the chase really, cut out all the nonsense. You know, if you had a bad one, you had a bad one. You know, make the next one better. Don't, don't, don't look for the excuse. So for all those people that are asking me, you know, is my medication going to bother me? Yes. Yes, it will. For a little while. And then the spirit world will do their thing, and you will do your thing, and you will sort that out. It, it will become part of it. So if it is a lifelong thing, you know, heart problems, or you've had some sort of transplant or something, and you, you need anti-rejection drugs and all that kind of stuff, it's just an ingredient the spirit world needs to learn to use in the mixing bowl. Think of it all logically. They are intelligent, this, this first and foremost, let's get that right. Um, and from there, you should progress. As always, thanks for liking this video. This is a, a local park near me, the Lee Valley. It's huge, I got lost. That's why you see loads of bits walking and, and whatever. Hope you're enjoying the, the latest outdoor series. As always, give it a like, comment if you, if you want to. And I'll see you all in the next video.